So if you have, you can run this by millions and millions of times. So you end up with a portfolio of 100,000 domains. If, those, if they make you $3 over the course of the year, that's $300,000. But it's much bigger than that. This is how you make money now. Um, I was also talking to, uh, in Delhi, the recent ICANN Delhi meeting, I was talking to a guy, a domainer. And I was saying, well, how do you do the domaining? How do you do it? And he says, well, I look around and see what's going on. So you see, it could be a new phone, or it could be something exciting or jazzy. Uh, and I find a domain that fits in with that, and then I stick up a blog. And I write a couple of blog posts, and I put up a couple of pictures or a couple of videos. I just put in stick stuff up there, and then I let it, I let it build up, and then, I sell the, and then I sell it on. I sell the traffic on, because people come to it, Google picks it up. He says, and then I just go to, well, he goes to DN Forum. Go to DN Forum, I say, who wants this? This is the traffic. This is how much you can make from it, and he sells it. And he does this you know, uh, five, ten times a day, and he makes a living off it. And this is just, this is a one-guy industry. This isn't the big boys. So this is how you make money these days, by producing not very useful content uh, on not very useful sites just because of this strange industry around Google uh, ads, and not just Google ads, but click-through ads that is built up. Uh, Front-running, I put that in because it's a sort of, um, it's a... Uh, the exciting domain story of the moment, and, that, and um, fast flux, which is what um, NSI, oddly enough, has, has been in hot water over. In that people, it was complaints that people were trying to register a domain, typing in "I want to get, um, say, uh, you know, domain pulse presentation .com. They type it in, search for it, and there were complaints that they, when they think they looked at it, said, "Oh, it's available," and then when they went back the next day, it had already gone. And there's been lots of anecdotal evidence about this. Uh, and it's, I mean, the, uh, and the uh, part of ICANN, the SSAC, looked at this, and they couldn't find any evidence of this actually. They couldn't prove that this was happening. But there's been enough people complaining that this is, there's a funny, there's some kind of funny business, whether people are watching traffic, whether they're watching what queries go out, they don't know. But then people go and buy the domains that people are looking at because they think it's worth something. And it's very effective. That's how you make money. You make money by f seeing where people are going to go. Uh, and it's like the stock exchange, you know, it's, um, no longer is it about trying to make money from building a site, it's about a matter of making a little bit of money from where you think, where you think people are going to go. It's the same as the stock exchange. Uh, fishing and farming, well this is the, you know, the illegal side of it, but it's still a very good way to make money. Uh, you set up a fishing site, you set up a, uh, um, a copy of a bank website, or it can be a copy of anything. There was someone who copied... Um, it wasn't Disney, but it probably some 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 kids' site, uh, and because there was I think there's lots of mothers, of course, who were like buying little kids' merchandise, stickers and little animals. So they copied a, a kids' site and made a lot of money through that because mothers were typing in, you know, and also you know mothers when it comes to their kids don't tend to think if it's your bank account you think a little bit more. If it's a picture of uh, you know Barney the bear or something you don't tend to think. And they made a whole lot of money from people just by posting. Uh, a replicate site and then getting people there. Uh, and just the fast flux is another interesting thing that's happening at the moment, which is where people are using the domain name system to prevent people from being able to take down their sites. They're just switching IP addresses all the time. So, so the only way to get at it is to get at the domain name. We used to, you know, the way we do it at the moment is you block IP addresses or you find out where the botnets are from and you block that or, or you get at the email and you try and kill the email. Uh, because they're now, you know, they're learning more and more. The place where the only place where you can actually get them, get them at the moment, is the domain name system. And this is so. That in that sense, is the use of the domains for making money. And denial of service attacks. Again, another. It's the flip side. Not legal, um, but there's quite a lot of Russian mafia and Eastern European mafia. Uh, have got these these botnets, these automated uh, uh, systems, and they just fire packets at sites. They bring the sites down. Then they get the, the site owner gets an email the next day saying, you pay us this amount of money or you'll find that your site disappears again. Uh, and the one, it's, very, it's very difficult to get stats on this because no one wants to admit to having paid people off. And a few people have told me sort of off the record that they've faced this and they've paid it, especially betting sites, because if a betting site loses $500,000 uh, per day on betting, and if they're asked to pay $10,000, they pay it because they don't know what else to do. And they go and they come to the experts and say, how do we do this? And then they, they're very, given a very long explanation as to how you avoid it, which they don't usually like. And they say, oh, I'll pay the $10,000. And this denial of service attacks is expanding. 
um, beyond just things like gambling. It's becoming almost legitimate because they're getting very, very good at it. Uh, and I know that a couple of banks have been attacked. Um, and I know that big corporate companies are being attacked just because they don't want to lose face. Uh, so that's another way of making money from domains. All of it pretty depressing. But I think there's a positive uh, way forward. Sex.com was used as a, as a billboard simply because it was the name sex.com. It was the name sex.com, so people went to it. And so you would just sell space in it because you knew people would be there. And I think with uh, new GTLDs, which will be coming out uh, starting this year, coming out next year, internationalized domain names in particular will mean a whole wider, bigger domain market. And th these will bring on billions of people that haven't been on the net before. We've got 1.2 billion people on the net at the moment. That's, that's, you know, you've got another 4 billion people that at some point in the next decade, maybe longer, but there will be at least a billion people extra in the next five years. And these will be first-time users, like we were first-time users back you know, in 94. Most, well, most people in this room were probably using it before then, but most people got on the Internet in Western society in 95, 96. And we typed in domain names. And there will be billions of people who will be typing in domain names, especially IDNs for the first time. So there's, I think there'll be a very big market in the old school, having a big name, having a big sex.com name, because people will simply go there. Also, one of the things which, which I keep mo moaning about is when people say, well, we won't need domain names because we've got Google. Um, well, that's not true. Google uses domain names quite highly in its rankings. So you could have, you have the same thing to so say, um, I don't know why Paris Hilton just came into my mind, but say you, uh, Paris Hilton, so you do a search on Paris Hilton. If you have uh, Paris or Hilton in the domain name in which this information on Paris Hilton is held, Google will rank it higher than, you know, www, whatever it is, blogspot.com slash this slash this, with just some Paris Hilton information. Google will rank it higher because Google uses the domain name system to judge the value of content. So this concept of we won't, you know, we're just typing into the magic Google. Google has to figure out what this, this is worth somehow. And they use the, they use the domain name system quite extensively. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big skeptic of the, uh, the domain name system is worthless. And then money to be made in registries. Well, with, uh, we tend to think of the domain name industry as making money from domain names. I think with, it see, we'll see what happens with new top level domains, generic you know, top level domains. It's very possible that you could make money from running a registry and, and if there is a lot of registries, so you could have dot .domain post, dot .domain is probably worth uh, a lot of money, and then you could sell domains on dot .domain. You could, there, there'll be many other ways in which you can make money from having a, a, that top level of the Internet. And that's it. So um, that's my run-through of uh, how, you've made, how you've made money from domain names in the past, how you, you know, what's happening between them, and where I think, uh, what's going on now, where I think money will be made from domains in the future. You'll note that I've got buy the book. That's because I've written a book about this, which took me years to write. Uh, there's a lot of work, and it's very readable uh, and very enjoyable. I actually, I, it's not published in the, it's only published in the UK at the moment, so I've actually shipped over 20. So if you want one, I can sell you one for, for 15 euros. But buy the book. It makes my life much easier. Uh, and it, it makes it much more worthwhile to spend years researching this and uh, and figuring out so you don't have to read 100,000 pages of U.S. legal text. So there you go. Thank you.